Kia ora Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Age Kiwi Man Collecting Star Wars Figures. In this video I'm going to be doing a review of VC263. That's right, 263 vintage collection figures. Well, there's actually more than that. And it's the Artillery Stormtrooper. And it's this one here and I'm afraid <laughs> I'm only showing you the card at the moment because I was so excited to get stuck into it that um, I didn't do this intro and started reviewing it. But don't worry, you will get a shot of it in the card. There it is, the Artillery Stormtrooper from the Mandalorian, uh, down there on the planet Tython. And this, honestly, was one of my favourite episodes of the Mandalorian. And I think this just looks magnificent. I love the fact they're using this brand new Stormtrooper. They continue to upgrade this sculpt and it's a fantastic, definitive Stormtrooper. The yellow looks amazing. Have a look at the card art doesn't quite look like a, a still from the show looks maybe more like they used a hot toys or something I don't know but um, looks good anyway and the figure itself the yellow looks slightly yellower than that which looks a bit more orangey but still that combination the white the yellow the black the car back the blue behind it looks fantastic this is of course VC 263, we'll show you that. Behold the glory of the artillery stormtrooper as soon as I saw that episode. For the first time, second time, third time, up to about the 15th time I've always wanted one of these figures so really happy to have it. Just before I go too much further pulling the stuff out you can see there that the mortar comes in two pieces. One sits in there, there's like the little bipod got the figure out. So I just wanted to show you how it sits in the tray. You've got the E11 blaster and then you've got four artillery rounds. Going in for an accessory deep dive, we'll start with the most boring accessory which is the E11. And it's nicely cast. It's like it's the, the later version with the flashlight on the side of it. It's got no other weathering or paint, it's just a solid piece but they didn't have to include it so that's actually a bonus then you got the mortar piece and it, it fits into the base on like a ball so you can move it around and then the bipod also clips in on like a ball so you can adjust the angle just like a real mortar to get your enemy and there we have the mortars themselves I've still got them on the sellotape that came in the packet so ton of accessories with, with this figure which is fantastic and to the figure itself. We're probably all very familiar with this figure at this point. This is the latest version of the, the Stormtrooper with the but it's got the yellow paintwork. This is the one with the rocker ankles. I think a lot of people have pointed out the, the fact that it looks like he's wearing little ankle socks which is not entirely accurate. That's probably about the only downside to this. He's got a pauldron so obviously if you popped off the head you could pop the pauldron off. And on the back is the backpack and you can see there there's space for four of those pieces of artillery. It just pops off as well. It's got a little half moon shape on there so just laying the figure down to do this so they just fit really snug in there. I'm going to put three in there. Now I don't know which way up they go because they've got this little kind of you see there they got this little dot thing so I don't know whether it's supposed to be at the top or the bottom I'm going to have to check that out and then I'm going to leave one out so that he can put it in the mortar itself alright it took me a little while to get him into this pose but definitely you know the rocker ankles help a lot you can get his back leg kind of flat and his knee on the ground and you can use the other rocker ankle to kind of get him there but that's I'm pretty happy with that pose the other thing I realised when I looked at the car back is the little dot that I talked about at the top of the artillery piece goes at the top, so fix that up in the backpack too. Here he is with a couple of his buddies. Um, there's the Incinerator Trooper. I don't have the Rocket Ankles version of the Incinerator Trooper for two reasons. One, that deluxe pack was not ever available in New Zealand. Um, and also because I bought like seven of the other ones, so I don't need any more. And then on the right you've got the uh, VC231 Stormtrooper, the one with the rocker ankles. So that's the one that this figure is based on. Very, very cool. 
So there you go. Look, I didn't go into the articulation of this figure because we've had it a lot of times um, in the Stormtrooper mold. I'm not complaining. I love having it a lot of times and I really like this version of it. Um, and this is just a sneak peek of what I'm going to do for my next video. I was hoping to combine it all into one, but it's proving to be a bit more work than what I thought. So next video I'm going to be doing a bit of a Tython diorama and hopefully set up a few figures because I really, really love that scene. Anyway, I'm middle-aged Kiwi man collecting Star Wars figures. Thank you so much for watching. Ka kite, and I'll see you on another video.